this is a video on how to upgrade the memory the RAM memory on a MacBook Pro this is a mid 2010 2010 MacBook but it's more or less the same for each one so first you need your upgraded RAM modules these are two four gigabyte modules I had two two gigabytes so I'm upgrading for four to eight and the first thing you need to do is remove the back panel this is pretty easy you need a good screwdriver and remove all the screws the only watch out that you need to have are the top three screws on the right uh, so the ones closer to where the display hinge is these are bigger screws as you can see make a note of where these screws are because you'll have to put them back exactly the same place the rest of the screws are small uh, so pretty straightforward I mean, you don't you have to have particular attention after you've removed all the screws what you need to do is pry open the back panel this you don't need any particular tool basically just put your nails a bit under the sides and pry it up there you go it may offer a little bit of resistance but just force it a bit try not to bend the aluminium because it's fragile you can see also that it's a pretty dirty Mac uh, over there are the memory they always come in banks of two so that's why you have to replace both of them normally when they come from Apple they will come either two times two gigas uh, two times one giga you know, just a bit of cleaning and here if you see it has these like clamps plastic clamps and when you open them they just like fall out you can see that one's on top of the other normally the bottom one is a bit more difficult to get out but nonetheless I mean just make sure that there's no plastic in of the clamp in the way so here I'm having a bit of difficulty on the right because it's still clamped in so I'm wiggling it side to side but now I have to open the plastic of the clamp a bit while wiggling and now you can see that it's gonna come off slightly easier but still with some wiggling so those are my two two gigabyte modules out and now we place the other ones in make sure you try at least as the less as possible to touch the contacts just touch the side and you see the slot make sure that you're putting the slot in the right direction so the shorter part of the slot should be to your right first put in the bottom one so you just have to slot it in and push it down until it clicks you heard that click here you go and then the top one same thing so The notch is more to the right. Just push it in first, in, and then down until it clicks. There you go. And that's it, basically. Um, they're installed. I did disconnect the battery cable. It's not mandatory, but I feel safer with it. So now I'm plugging it back in. A bit of spring cleaning here you can see all the dust from the fans and put the lid back on push it down until it sort of is in place and put back all the screws I normally start with the big screws the top three which I was telling about uh, before going into the small ones simply because that way I don't make any mistakes so top three long big screws and if you have the Mac in this position it will be the top right three holes so having those out of the way I now go into the smaller screws. Now I'm going to chop the video uh, so you don't see all the screws going in and go to the Mac desktop. First thing to do is to check if the RAM is 
uh, correctly attributed so you can already see when you go to the about screen that I now have the correct size of RAM and if you go into more info you can actually see if you click memory that I have two modules of four gigabytes occupying the Mac a total of eight gigabytes so the upgrade is working now before fully using the Mac and to make sure that the memory that I bought is correct and that way you can complain uh, while still in warranty I use this program called memtest you just go to Google search for memtest and specify that it's for the Mac and you'll reach a couple of links I mean the first link that came to me already has where to download so you see here memtest for Mac OS test your RAM and here you have the download link for the mem test. You download it. It's pretty quick because it's a small program. And when you download it, you install it. It's actually a package installer, so pretty straightforward. And just follow the instructions to install. I'll now skip this and have it already installed so when you do have it already installed you go to utilities and terminal because it's still a terminal program and in terminal you write memtest all and this will perform all tests it's if you see that it isn't giving you a, a big memory uh, allocated that's here uh, that's probably because you have a couple of programs open so what I would recommend is try and closing as much things as you can before using the mem test because that way it can lock more free memory for it to test and can almost test the full RAM thank you for watching